Watch out on the nation's street this weekend for fake blood, fake guns and crazy filmmakers. It's the 8th annual 48-hour film festival. In fact, we are just minutes away from the launch countdown and our own Kate Roger is among the craziness there in Auckland. Kate? Well, I can't hear myself, thank Alistair, so I'm sure you can't either. You do say the word crazy, there is nothing crazier than the 48-hour film festival and we are quite literally a minute and a half away from it all starting. These poor guys, hundreds of them and thousands like them all around the country have just 48 hours to make a film that they hope will impress the judges. The 48-hour film festival is not for the faint-hearted. Every year thousands of budding filmmakers sign up. They have 48 hours to write and shoot and edit and survive. There'll be a lot of screaming and hopefully <laughs> laughter and tears on the Sunday night as people either make the deadline or don't make the deadline. And while those boys and girls have been girding their cinematic loins for this weekend, one 48-hour film festival veteran, well, he just decided to soak it up in his hotel bathtub. You know what I did earlier? I put on a face mask, just because I could. But before I started doing 48-hour films, I wasn't allowed to do that sort of stuff. It was frowned upon. But now that I'm a famous 48-hour filmmaker, I can do whatever I want. Taika Waititi usually enters each year, but with his latest film, Boy, firmly planted at the top of the Kiwi box office, he's firmly planted in New Orleans, shooting the Green Lantern. In other words, he's come a long way from his 48-hour film festival days. Yes, good, my picture has arrived. Fantastic. Talking about 650 teams, uh, which is about 10,000 people, all up with the cast and crews involved. And this year we've got Taranaki as a new region, so there's a small team of desperados down there for the first time are going to be uh, knocking it out of the park. And for all those hopefuls chasing honour and glory this weekend, a final word from our naked filmmaker. Yeah, just have a good time with it, really. That's my advice. And who knows, maybe one day you could be living all alone by yourself with no friends, drinking coffee out of a wine glass, naked. Mm. The countdown is quite literally on. It can be a rom-com, it can be a horror, it can be a road movie, it can be a femme fatale. And they've only got two days to do it, Alistair. It's frankly quite terrifying. At the end of that two days, if they're not here, bang on the dot of 7 o'clock on Sunday, their film will not make the cut and they will not be able to compete in the festival. This is a big, big festival now. 10,000 people, 650 teams, and quite literally, now they're off. 48 hours to go. OK, Roger, thank you very much indeed.